The Riley Children's Foundation needs your help today, raising $175 million. Yesterday, Riley launched Be the Hope Now, the campaign for kids. We've got Dr. Elaine Cox joining in, us in studio today. Elaine is the chief medical officer for Riley Children's Health. Great to have you here. Thanks for having so me. So you've identified three programs that you're really putting this money toward. Tell us a little bit about that. So we have three major initiatives. Obviously at Riley we have tons of initiatives, but three that stand out. One is maternity and newborn health. So it's important to know 600 babies die in Indiana every year before their first birthday. And so we need to do a better job caring for them and their mothers so that we don't have that happen. Um, we do that by recruiting specialists and doing safe sleep initiatives and other things. The second one is uh, family programs, family and child support programs. These are programs that are focused on helping families cope with having an ill child, having the child have some developmental normalcy to their lives. So it's child life and social work and care management and the school program all things that are not paid for by payers, obviously. And then the third is research. So Riley is the eighth leading pediatric research center in the country. And so we are taking things that used to just be in the lab and getting them to the bedside for children who are searching for cures. So even though we can't cure cancer, we know that one in eight children that are diagnosed with cancer are still dying from it. Mm -hmm. And we need to do immediate work to help those children and families as they come through our doors. Uh -huh. The uh, former student, Tyler Trent, who we've done lots of stories about, is involved and was uh, part of yesterday's event. Tell us how Tyler has been involved. So Tyler is an amazing human being, obviously, and he has just ignited a spirit of giving and philanthropy for our entire community, our state, and, and obviously beyond. Mm -hmm. Tyler himself raised $100,000 towards the Purdue University Dance Marathon, which is a huge supporter of Riley with over a million dollars given just this year alone. And so Tyler sort of embodies that spirit of the kind of help we need to be able to care for children mm -hmm. holistically. He was given the Sagamore of the Wabash yesterday by the governor, the highest uh, uh, award given. And tell us how people can get involved if they want to participate in the campaign? So there are tons of ways to get involved. You can go to the Riley Children's Foundation website. You mm -hmm. can go to the RileyHospital.org website. You can call the foundation. Um, there are numerous ways to be involved. And I think the most important thing is children are coming into the hospital day and night who yeah. need help mm -hmm. immediately. So there's some urgency. So we really need people mm -hmm. to absolutely be the hope now. Yeah, my uh, youngest daughter is a, a nurse at Riley Hospital. So I'm well aware of all the wonderful things the uh, Riley does for people all across the uh, state. So thanks so much for participating. And we've got more information on uh, WTHR.com. Dr. Cox, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Be back.